Isn't it funny that when people say, oh, I want to start a business and they're passionate about starting their own business, I always say something like, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just wait until I have an idea that you know, doesn't exist yet. Or I'll just wait until I have that one perfect idea. Now, <laughs> let me tell you right now, you do not have to be first to be first. That's what I want to explain to you today. So what I mean is that a lot of people, like regardless of where you're at, like if you're trying to start a business or you already have a business, this is going to be relevant for you because the way I see it, like a lot of people think you have to be the first on the market with a certain product, right? Like you have to be the first to come up with a certain solution for a problem. And only then you will be the king of the, of the mountain, right? That's when you experience rapid growth and all that. But if you really look at it, that's actually not the case. There's so many examples out there where the second one is actually way bigger than the first one, right? So it's, it's as they say, like, let's say there's two, mi two mice that are going for you know, the cheese and there's a trap. The first one gets the trap. The second one gets the cheese, right? Because the trap has already been captured. And that's exactly what happens in business as well. So I'll give you a few examples, right? So, Imagine there would be a problem of like people want to experience music, right? And they want to be on the road and there we got these CDs for the little ones <laughs> for the people are under like basically younger than me CDs are these round circle things with music on them and they had like 20 songs on on every on every, on every CD um, Imagine you want to create something that you know, that would be way like you can store hundreds of, of, of recordings that would be the mp3 player right so the mp3 player came along and they were the first to solve that problem right there was various brands and all that and what do you know like is was the first one actually to you know the one that that won the market no it was not it was the ipod from apple right so what they did they took an ex existing idea and then they made it a lot better they made it easier they made it like better known they innovated based on an existing problem right an existing product so they weren't first, they just took an existing idea, an existing product that solved a problem and innovated from it, right? And there's plenty of examples out there. I mean, they actually did it multiple times. Uh, pick the phone, for example, right? The phone was on for quite a while already. People had, uh, Nokia was obviously a big, big brand back in the day. And there they were even already so like smartphones out there, right? Like where you can have a circle, like a touch screen with a, with a pencil and like color screen and all that, right? It was there. And then Apple innovated from it. They made it better, better, easier, and better known. Boom, they took over the phone market. They weren't first, but they ended up being number one, right? So I want you to think about that in your business as well. Like, are you like, uh, is there any product in your space, in your business, that solves a problem, but actually does it in a way that you know you can do a lot better, easier? wider known right because again you don't have to be first you just have to do things a lot better innovate from it and you can take over the market so when you're when you're waiting for that final idea like the, the perfect idea to get started or that project in your business that you think you know is going to put your business on the map like don't look for that 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 product that doesn't exist yet look for a product that just simply does a shitty job right because if there's an existing product with an existing market that people pay money for right but it does it in a shitty way that you know you can solve a lot better than innovate that product, make it a lot better, easier, simpler, wider known. And that's how you can become first in that market without being the first product in that market to release something. So that's it. Look at your market, see if there's a shitty product and then innovate and make it a lot better. That's how you become first, even though you're not the first to market. So that's it for today and I'll see you next time.